So welcome back to AutoCAD tutorials. In today's session, we are going to see what are construction lines and what are rays. So from this draw tab, click on this draw tab. From here, you can select this construction line. When I select this construction line, I get below following options. Can you see here? Horizontal, vertical, angle, bisect and offset. So let us see first what horizontal do. So I will click on horizontal. Now, as you can see, it will create a horizontal construction line, which is infinite in length. A construction line is infinite in length and travels in both direction. So just click on the point where you want to place your construction line. Now, when you want to come out of this command, just press enter. Now, also command for construction line is X L enter. So again, now let us see what this vertical will do. When I click op this option vertical, we are able to create vertical construction lines. So now I'll delete all these lines. Again, I will take construction line command X L enter. Now we'll select this angle option from here. Now, what it is saying me to specify an angle of construction line. So I will specify here 30 degree. So you can see the construction line has been created at 30 degree now. Just keep and click. It will create construction line at 30 degrees from positive x axis measured in anti clockwise direction. Now, further, we have this bisect option and offset. So to make it clear, first I will make two lines, one something like, uh, or I will take some better example, a horizontal line and a line inclined at 60 degree. So how to make that? We will use angle. You can see below angle symbol and enter 60 degree. So line has been logged at 60 degree. Now, now I want a construction line which will bisect these two lines. So what I will do is I will take construction line. I will select this bisect option and I will specify an angle point for the vertex. So this will be my vertex. Now specify start angle. So I will select this. Now specify an end angle point. So I will specify this. So as you can see, the construction line has just bisected this angle and it has been created. Now what this offset will do. So I will again take a construction line. I will click on this offset. Now it is saying me to specify offset distance or through. So I will specify offset distance as through unit. Now it is saying me select a line object. So I will select this line. Now if I will click here. It will create a line at an offset of two units this side. And if I will click here, it will create an offset of two units on other side. So let us see this once again. I took construction line, selected offset from here. Now I will specify distance as 50 unit. That is saying me to select an object, selected this and clicked, selected this and clicked on that side. So it is clear. Now let us see what ray does. So we can take a ray from here. Can you see this? What ray does is when we will click at a point, it will create an infinite length of line only in one direction. It won't travel in two direction unlike construction line. So just keep on clicking. It will create as many rays you want and press enter if you want to come out of the command. Now what if I want to create a ray at some inclined line means at some inclination. So what we can do is we can take a ray command shortcut for ray is R A Y press enter specify start point. Now give an angle sign first. Now press whatever specified angle you want. So I am specifying angle as 45 degree. 
so it has created a ray at 45 degree it can be below or upward by showing the cursor direction we can place our ray so i hope so this tutorial is clear to you if you like this video please do subscribe our channel and thanks for watching this video